short video to explain how to use um, this uh, self review of absolute value functions and their critical points. Right, you have uh, y equals to absolute value of 3x plus 5 minus 6. Right, you need to find, uh, you need to know what the x intercepts are, the y intercept, and then the maximum or minimum point. Right, the coordinates you have to fill in here. Right, and we are going to make use of the the input uh, buttons here. Right now, first of all, what are the x intercepts? Right, absolute value of three x plus five minus six equals to zero. Right, because at the y uh, x axis, the y values, the y coordinates are zero. So therefore, three uh, x plus five absolute value of that should be equal to six. Right, um, but could a uh, negative of 3x plus 5 could be also equals to 6, right? So let's take a look at the negative value first because we want the leftmost value, which is a, right? So assuming that uh, the negative of 3x plus 5 equals to 6, then 3x plus 5 will be equals to negative 6. And um, when you bring the 5 over to the other negative 6, it will be negative 11, right? So uh, 3x equals to negative 11, and therefore, x will be equals to negative 11 over 3. So let's select the input to a, negative 11. Now, over 3 means divide by 3, divide by 3. There we have it, right? The first value, which is a. Now, then the second value, right? Um, the x in the set b, right, will be given by 3x plus 5 equals to 6, right? Um, and if you bring the 5 over with 6 minus 5, which is 1, and 3x equals to 1, therefore, x will be equals to 1 over 3. Input to b, 1 divided by 3. Okay, now let's deal with the uh, y-intercept then. In y-intercept, the x value is 0. So therefore, uh, y should be equals to 3 times 0, which is 0. Uh, an absolute value of 5, which is 5. 5 minus 6 will be negative 1. Let's input to C, negative 1, right? And now for D, right, to get the lowest point, then, right, um, the value here, the absolute value um, could either be positive or zero. So let's make it zero to get the smallest value, right? Make this zero to get the smallest value. To make this zero, X has to be the negative of 5 over 3. Right? Think 3 times negative of 5 over 3 becomes 5, negative 5, negative 5 plus 5 becomes 0. And when this is 0, this will be at the lowest. Right? So, negative D, input D should be negative 5 divided by 3. Alright. Then lastly, what is the lowest value? The lowest value happens when uh, this is not positive and this is 0. Right? So, negative 6. So the lowest point, the y value has to be negative 6. Okay, now we are ready to check. Let's check the answers. Click on check. Yeah, they are all correct. And we can move on to the new question by clicking on new. This ends the video on how to use this uh, self-review activity.